Hey everyone, I'm going to present solution to example 11. A fire pump delivers water through a 150 mm diameter main to a hydrant to which is connected a 75 mm diameter hose terminating in a 25 mm diameter nozzle. The nozzle is 3 meters above the hydrant and 18.25 meters above the pump. Assuming a total frictional loss of 8.5 meters from the pump to the base of the nozzle and a loss in the nozzle of 6% of the velocity head in the jet and neglecting air resistance, first, what is the velocity of the jet at the tip of the nozzle if the stream is thrown upward to a height of 24.4 meters? What is the expected diameter of the stream to a height of 12 meters? and what gauge pressure at the pump is necessary. So this is the situation. Everything is, is leveled here. And we have the jet which rises to a height of 24.4 meters. So for the first question, velocity of jet at tip of the nozzle, uh, we know that the velocity head at the tip of the nozzle is simply 24.4 and it is v, n, v sub n square over 2g. So h is v sub n square over 2g from the preceding problem. So or you uh, substitute velocity final square equals velocity initial square minus 2gh so that we can derive this where velocity final is zero. So 24.4 equals V sub N square over 19.62. So from here we can solve V sub N velocity at the nozzle tip of 21.88 meters per second. Then 11.2, what is the expected diameter of the stream to a height of 12 meters? So in, since this is a liquid and of course air resistance is negligible, QN equals Q at that level. QN, Q12 equals QN. So pi over 4, we do not consider pi over 4 anymore. So that the answer will be in mm. So um, diameter at 12 square times v sub 12 equals diameter at the tip of the nozzle 25 mm square vn 21.88. But the velocity at 12 meters, we use v sub 12 square equals vn square which is 21.88 square minus 2g times 12 where g is 9.81 so v sub 12 is 15.6 meters per second so therefore diameter at 12 square times 15.6 equals 25 mm square times 21.88 so the diameter at the 12 12 meters from that nozzle tip is 29.61 mm then for the third what gauge pressure at the pump is necessary so we have to write energy equation between point one and point n with datum through point one so that this is zero elevation zero for z1 so we have velocity head at one pressure head at one elevation head at one equals velocity head at n pressure head at n elevation head at n then plus head loss from 1 to n take note that head added by the pump is not included here because we are considering at the discharge side of the pump to n so there is no pump between the discharge side to n so to solve for v1 by continuity equation because q1 equals qn so 150 square v1 equals 25 square 21.88 v sub n so v sub 1 is 0 0.6078 meters per second square divided by 19.62 so the velocity head at 1 is 0 0.01883 meter then everything is here so v n square over 2 g is 24 point velocity head at the nozzle is 24.4 meters so substitute 0 0.01883 plus pressure over 9.1 plus 0 equals 24.4 plus pressure head at n 0 exposed to atmosphere. Gn is 18.25 
meters, then head loss from 1 to N is the frictional loss from 1 to the base of the of the nozzle, 8.5, then plus 6% head loss in the nozzle of the velocity head. So that's why we have here 0 0.06 of velocity head in the nozzle, which is 24.4. So the only unknown here is the pressure at the pump, the shared side of the pump. So in kilopascals, that is equal to 516 kilopascals. So that's the solution to this problem.